I'm a game artist, and in this video... <laughs> what is happening? We are going to celebrate that the armadillo won the mob vote by making our own custom armadillo armor set, and also an armadillo sword, in just a few minutes using the item wizard, and then put them into the game. And this is it. The Minecraft item wizard for block bench. We create a new item, and I'm gonna pick a chest plate to begin with. Click on next. Then I'm gonna type my name for the item. It's gonna be an armadillo. Chest plate. Then I'm gonna set it to wearable and change the protection to be super strong, because that's what it is. Increase the durability so it's really resistant and also make sure that we repair it fast. Ignore the icon glint and then export it to a folder. Pack name is going to be Armadillo Armor and me as the creator. Now it's already packaged in the game, but we're gonna edit the items to look the way we want them to look. So there we go, it's exported and now we're gonna open up the models. Here we change the look of the icon and here we change the 3D model. So let's do that. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to first remove the texture. Delete that. Boom. Gone. Alright, now let's take a look at the rig. The folders we have here on our right. I recommend not touching anything but these inner three cubes. Because they are the armor. Then I'm gonna make a new cube and move that up to the shoulder. Increase the size of it because this is gonna be an armadillo shell piece. Change the chest a bit and then also add another part of the arm. Remove the inner cubes and then make my own texture, which I will set to 32 by 32 resolution. And that is a good resolution because it gives you more pixels to paint with. And let's wrap up the shape, add some outlines and also remove the stuff in between with the eraser tool. Finish off these elbow guards and then work on the chest plate. Add these folding ridges over the belly and then simply wrap up the rest of the texture for what's going to be underneath the armor and also the armor top itself. Coloring in the final pieces all around the space. And that's it. That's the armor chest piece. But I believe it lacks something so let's add a tail on the rear end. An armadillo tail. There we go. And then we export the geometry to the game. I go export, export bedrock geometry, and then locate the file in the resource pack. And then just save it over. I'll add some info about the com.mojang folder down in the description. And we can't forget to save the texture as well. And we need to do that in a slightly different folder. So under the package we go to textures, entity, and then we save over the attachable texture called whatever our armor was supposed to be. Then I'm going to open up Photoshop and just quickly clean up the file so that I don't have any of these unnecessary textures painted. I will rework the icon by painting it to look more like my actual chest piece and then just fancy it up a bit with some colors, trying to make it look somewhat like the model that I made. And then when we feel like we're done, just click on save next by the texture. Oh, um, this is awkward. Oh, ah, it's about the thing on the server, right. Well, that time is probably up by now, so let's jump into the game. Hi, and welcome to a really boring flat world, and a really fancy mustache, and also the inventory, because now we're gonna pick out the armor chest piece. Here we have it, armadillo chest plate. I'm gonna put this on. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, that actually looks pretty decent. If I turn around, do I see my tail? Oh yeah, I have a tail, look at that. A tail on the armor, nice. Hmm. Actually, I made another thing as well, just for fun. You ready? Let's jump into the helmets and pick this armadillo helmet. Let's put that on. Look at how beautiful I am. Probably the weirdest thing I've made in a while. Well, yeah, it's an armadillo that I've carved out. Um, it, don't judge me, I think this makes sense. So, yeah, let's make a sword as well. In block bench, click on the sword, next, and then call this the armadillo blade. I'm gonna click on next and leave things as they are. Increase the damage to become a really strong sword. Also, I wanna break blocks with this one. Let's break, um, metal blocks. And also reduce the time to three seconds. So it's really fast to break them. No durability, don't want them to do anything else. But it would be fast to have those settings. And then we're gonna have a 3D model. So let's click on the one to the right. And then next. Now I'm gonna integrate this to a pack and add this to my armadillo armor pack. There we go. And then go on next. Now, icon or model? Let's start with the model. All right, the default model doesn't look too interesting. So let's remove the texture and build our own custom design. I'm gonna have this pirate guard around your hand as you hold the handle. I've changed the texturing so I can remove faces. And now I'm gonna build out the other details around the grip. Add another geometry part to the blade. And now let's texture this all. I'm gonna work with the same colors that I did for the armor for most parts of the sword, except the blade. Just filling in with really thick and flat colors, adding the things around in the places where I feel like they make sense. We're gonna work with a gray blade, make it look sort of steely with a sharp edge. And to get it looking really sharp, let's remove that extra material by the edge. So it's a nice pixel eraser. And here in the animate tab, we can now change what the layout of this is in the first person view by clicking on the center camera button. Now let's rotate and move this a bit so it looks the way we'd want it to be. 
don't forget to export this by saving the animations. And then export this geometry as well, just like we did before. Save over the one that has been generated. There we are. Same thing for the texture. Save that over. Find a texture in the package by textures, entity, attachables and your sword. Save over that. And I think we're pretty much ready. Let's jump back into Minecraft, put on the armor once more, and let's watch all of this in action. I'm gonna go to swords. And look here, we have the armadillo blade. 12 damage, that should suffice, and it sits snug in my hand. Look at that sharp blade. Let's put on the rest of the armor as well. Chest piece, head, and sword. And this is the first person view. And as you can tell, no imaginary animals were harmed during the making of this video, more than emotionally. Speaking of breaking somebody's heart, we gotta try to break an iron block, shouldn't we? Let's see, here we have one, let's plop that down and break it with our sword. Let's go into survival, and I'm fairly certain we should be able to break this quite fast, judging by the- yeah, look, it goes really fast. That's broken. And if we don't count my custom models, all the files we needed were made in less than a minute. Don't forget to subscribe to the More by Cab channel for more in-depth tutorials. And now, you should go and try out the wizard tools for Blockbench.